Well, this is not me with here again. As you can see, this is a little um, shredder I've been mentioning that I've been using for my garden. And um, let's just say I uh, finally started to shred some stuff up with it. So um, let me show you what the front part of the garden area looks like now. Here's the um, garden pathway. Here's the tiller I die. I still need to fix up. But um, that's for another time because... Like I said, I need a garden shed first before I do all that. A little compost bending I'm trying to have go on right there. And here's the garden area I showed you in previous videos. As you can see, my okra is still growing nice and strong. Ooh, that has gotten very long. The last time I checked it, which was just yesterday. Oh well, more okra seeds fresh ones too at that but I need to let it brown on that that okra is perfect for picking right now but as you can see I really don't have enough to really actually pick and do much with so I'm probably going to go ahead and let those grow big long and produce some fresh new seeds and as you can see this is where my uh, Potatoes are, I really can't see too well due to the bright sun right now. But you still can't see the potatoes I have growing just yet. Looks like one of them kind of disappeared or died. But as you can see, this is some stuff I shred up. It's mixed oak and dried milkweeds. What's a good example of what I'm talking about milkweeds, but later as you can see, I also use some Spanish moss I found laying around the property and used them to go around the okra. I need to do a better job of that later or reinforce it with some more mulch along with the get some mulch on top of the paper but right now I really can't do that. Although I do have a bit of a supply it's just getting hard for me to get around to it because it's summer, it's hot and Here's some of the milkweeds that I'm talking about. Now these things can get pretty thick. Where's a good thick one that I can show you? Uh, not over there. But I used that chipper shredder on milkweeds thicker than that. At least I think they're called milkweeds. I really don't know what they're called, but they're bamboo-like in my opinion. They're not bamboo, but they are bamboo-like. Best way I can describe them right now since I've only seen bamboo in pictures and really don't know what it looks like. <sighs> Bottom. Ooh, there's a thick one right over here that I can show you. <sighs> Sorry about the shaky picture. I'm doing all this off my cell phone, so I don't really have something stable. But this, you can probably see two of them right there. And that's pretty thick. Let me give you a good comparison. Here's my finger. As you can see, it's pretty skinny finger. Just let me, I really feel nervous about coming back here because there could be snakes back here. So there's my hand, there's the stalk. I can barely put my entire hand around it. So again, I really don't know what it's actually called. It's just been commonly called milkweed by people I know around here and... Oh, there you go. Little oak plants that I planted a couple of years ago after um, getting it from some sort of um, tree foundation place. I've got what they were called. But uh, they accidentally hit part of this tree, so it's trying to heal. I can show you another oak tree I planted here, which, if you ask me, was a bit of a bad idea to put it here, but I was the one that planted it here. But, because our trailer house is like right there. Anyways, for those of you who are in my, um, who are, um, not my group, but then with RN Epsilon 9. This is the 
hill I keep talking about that I have to cut. So as you can see, I've been trying to make some improvement. Ooh, I got my hand over the camera. So as you can see, I've been trying to make some improvements in my garden area. It's about one o'clock right now, so the hot sun's at its hottest peak right now, so I've been trying to stay out of it. It won't be until about two o'clock, three o'clock, that it starts to cool off again where I could actually work out here. And uh, here's something I never actually talked about much. As you can see, that is a timer. And there is what begins my um, water irrigation system for my entire garden. All my garden beds over there in my garden right around there where those grapevines are at and whatnot is where I have my water irrigation system running. Although I still need to um, probably do it better. I still need to cut down all these milkweeds here, but I want to finish getting all this area covered up first too. Now over here, I had some pumpkin vines growing. They all died for various reasons, mostly from pests attacking them. Now, I've been reading that if the plants are healthy and whatnot, pests won't attack them. So let me go over to this first garden bed that I first put over here. Which is where these tomato vines are at. As you can see, there's not a single pest on them. Not one. Although they have been attacked a little, but I guess that's because something's going on and I need to fix it. But basically, the pests have not really been at these vines, at least not as much as they used to be. Because at one time I would see these tomatoes covered with just stink bugs everywhere. And now they're not. And that's because they're mostly healthy and that's because what I did with this bed is I've actually put down shredded paper first, then some mulch, some more shredded paper, and finally some more mulch. Not this, about an inch each, I believe. And I just let it sit there and decay right on top of it. And bam, I got shit that wants to grow here. Although, sometimes it doesn't always work. Now, the problem is I haven't done that in a while and I need to do it again, but as I said, I'm trying to focus my garden area over there and trying to get me a garden shed. Anyways, thank you for watching. Knack me us out.